What's up guys, TGF here and I have a really important video for you guys today, this is going to be how to fix the uh, new Skype virus that's been going down. Um, so pretty much you can see if I go to anybody here you can see this message, it says LOL is this uh, your new profile picture and as you can see it copies their Skype name. You can go down and as you can see I've sent it to every single person on my Skype contact list, all like over 200 of them. And a lot of you people may already have this and if you've already clicked the link then I'm afraid you're already infected. Um, and it's really really important that you don't go onto any sites because you've been keylogged and what that means is anything you type onto your keyboard Even that uh, the hacker will know exactly what you've typed because it's a keylogging virus So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get rid of this virus um, and get rid of it once and for all So the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, go to Skype right click it and quit Skype and get off of Skype and shut it down completely. So that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is uh, go into my computer here, or sorry, just go into the start bar and type run and click enter. And then uh, you basically want to type this, which is uh, percent app data percent um, backslash Skype. Um, I'll put that in the description. And you want to click OK, and that's going to open up this folder. Now, when you guys see this folder, you're not going to see these uh, these two files here at the bottom. So what you want to do is go organize go to folder and search options and then uh, go down to view and under hidden files and folders make sure you click show hidden files folders and drives click OK and then delete these two files right here once that's done you can go into one of these click back and see if it comes back and as you see it hasn't so that's good but you're not done quite yet so once that's gone um, what you want to do now is uh, go into your recycling bin and remove those files. So now that that's done, what you want to do is go into um, go into your browser. You want to head over to Google, and you want to type in uh, malware bytes, just like that. And uh, you can go to their website here. It says malware bytes anti uh, you know anti malware free utilizes malware stuff. Go in here, click the download now button uh, for the free version. So once you download Malwarebytes, uh, you're going to get a program which is going to look like this. And you're going to open this up. It's completely free, guys. It's really, really great. Um, now, you can either perform a quick scan, which um, I think it does find it. But I would personally always recommend the perform full scan. It will depend on how good your computer is. Mine's pretty godlike, so it did it pretty quickly. Just click uh, perform full scan, click scan. And uh, once it's done, basically, I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Um, it will just basically scan all the objects like this and then it will show you what's infected and what's not um, and then there'll be a button that comes up here um, that will um, basically say view results or something and you just click on that and then uh, you can get rid of anything by clicking remove and then you'll get this thing that pops up to show you uh, just basically some information about your scan so once that's done and you've removed uh, the keylogging virus, uh, one other thing that you need to do um, is go into Skype, which I don't have it pinned anymore, my bad. Um, but you want to open up Skype again and uh, you want to go to Tools, go to Options, um, go to Advanced, uh, go to Manage Other Programs Access to Skype and in here you shouldn't have anything else other than any Skype recording software you have. Anything with a load of numbers in it, particularly dis um, hiding itself as a, or disguising itself as uTorrent, remove it. Anything you don't trust in here with a load of numbers in it, remove it and uh, you should be good to go. So once that's done, you just want to quit Skype again. I'm not going to because I actually need it open. So quit Skype again and then head over to the Skype website, re-download Skype version 5.1 and um, you should be good to go and you should have got rid of the virus for good. One way to test this is to go onto Skype, check um, everybody again and see when the last time uh, you sent them uh, this message and if it was way before you started removing all the stuff that's great if it's still doing it I'm really sorry I don't know what to suggest but leave your comments in the description below as uh, I may be able to fix it if I have some idea of what's going on so thanks for watching guys I hope this video is really gonna help you out It's a horrible horrible virus uh, it was still bank account and passwords and everything else so um yeah, please don't visit anything like that until you've done all this. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will leave the link to Malwarebytes in the description along with what you need to type uh, in here into the search bar, as you can see. Or you can just make this video full screen and click on 720p, and uh, it will show you there. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I really hope it helps you guys out.